clarifying butter is easy. Start with a mason jar with a coffee filter, push down into the lid, and secure it with a rubber band or hair elastic. Set your burner between low and medium. You don't want to just melt the butter. You want to boil it to evaporate the water and harden the milk solids. Let this butter do its thing until it stops boiling. There you go. When it stops popping, it's done. Now you pour it into this filter. Now you can see the milk solids in the bottom of this filter and along the side here. It won't filter any further than this, so you can take the filter off and throw this away or put it on your toast or whatever. It won't hurt you. I've got some here from a, a previous batch that I already did. And this is what it's going to look like when it's done. This is clarified butter. Clarified means that it's clear. In other words, no milk solids. I'm going to transfer it into this container. Now if you want to make brown butter, you boil this clarified butter until it turns brown. So I'm going to pour a little butter in here. And I'm going to turn this burner back on to between low and medium where I had it. Now this butter is going to boil a little bit. It's going to have some soft bubbles in it. And it might smoke. Don't let that scare you. Let it do its thing until it turns brown and it has a nutty aroma. You, got, you see that brown color? It's just lightly caramelized. That's brown butter. There you go. It's that simple. If you want it any darker than this, uh, leave some of the milk solids in it, caramelize the milk solids, and That'll give it a deeper color, flavor, and aroma. Here's that little vintage egg poacher I used to clarify that butter with. It's from the 1970s. I've had it for years and years. It belonged to my parents. It's aluminum, and it's a little bit delicate. This thing will bend real easy, so you have to be careful with it. I'm going to leave a link to one of these in the description.